Hello everyone and welcome to the hot and humid country of the Philippines and today will be all about this Range Rover Velar. And as the title suggests, I would say that this is all the Range Rover that you need. Now, before I get to my point, I want to talk about how good this car looks. JLR absolutely nailed it in the styling department. Because this is what's considered a coupe SUV and most people actually hate coupe SUVs because they think that the roof line in the back is ugly. Now this also has a sloping roof line, just like a lot of coupe SUVs. Now BMW started this trend with the BMW X6 and then Mercedes copied it with a GLE Coupe and then Audi perfected it with a Q8. But this is uh, a bit smaller than all of those cars. This would compete around the X4, around the GLC Coupe type thing. This is not, it's not that big. Okay, so enough about the looks, back to my point. If you're thinking of buying a Range Rover, there are so much variants nowadays like the Evoque, the Vogue, there's the Range Rover Sport, and in each of those variants, there are so much different variants within those variants such as the long wheelbase or the SVR or the SV Autobiography. Now this Velar also has an SV Autobiography version which just means that it's the most powerful, it's the the most expensive one in the line. But you know, I think you don't really need that. This is all the Range Rover that you need to get. This is the Range Rover S. Now this would sit uh, a little lower in the Range Rover line, just above the lowest one. But really, it's not that bad. Here on the inside, this is actually a really nice place to be. Again, this isn't the very top of the line Range Rover. This is somewhere in the middle, lower middle. But they don't really take out a lot of creature comforts. I mean, if you look around here, this is still a very nice place to be in. The really soft white leather. There's a little bit of Alcantara here and then regular leather. Um, the door sidings are really soft, also leather. Actually. Almost everything here is leather. There's piano black um, trims. Uh, this is also leather. And then the infotainment. There are three screens. One, two, and three. If you're thinking about buying a Range Rover, you don't really need the highest spec or the most expensive one. Because right here, sitting in uh, a sort of average Range Rover, it's already a really good place to be in. Of course, it's an SUV, so it's pretty much a given that it's a very practical car with rear seats and a large trunk space or boot space for our British friends. Now, it's really easy to tell the power and what kind of engine it is. Now, D, that means it's a diesel, and 180, um, I'm not sure if that's necessarily horsepower or PS, but that's around how much horsepower it has. This is a four-cylinder, turbocharged diesel engine which is all that you really need when it comes to here in the Philippines because there's a lot of traffic and you don't really need a big powerful 550 horsepower V8 just like the one on the SV Autobiography this is all that you need it's very conservative power 